There is no team in college football that has experienced as much positive change in 2022 than USC. New head coach in Lincoln Riley, replacing Clay Helton, new coaching staff, and more transfer impact transfer players coming to the Trojans than any team in the nation. All right, let's look at the schedule, and here comes my record prediction for the Trojans in 22. It all starts with Rice on September 3rd, a game that uh, would be the easiest on the schedule, as we will also rank the opponents for USC in the most likely wins and losses. The date at Stanford is a traditional one in the Pac-12 where the Trojans and Cardinal get together early in the season. Tricky date at Stanford in Week 2 and David Shaw, the Stanford Cardinal, just 11-19 and 19 the past three seasons in college football. Fresno State, difficult Mountain West Conference opponent coming to the Coliseum the next week. Here's the date to circle. At Corvallis on September 24th, of course, this is a haunted venue for USC traditionally. Pete Carroll going down to the Beavers twice in the 2000s when a national championship bid was on the line. Arizona State, Washington State should be wins in October. Then we also have the date at Utah that could decide a berth in the Pac-12 championship game. Trojans at the Utes, big game on October 15th. Arizona on the road, Jed Fish still trying to build a program there. Cal and Colorado should be wins. The Colorado game of note on a Friday night at the Coliseum. And then a difficult two to finish the 22 season. UCLA, crosstown rivals at the Rose Bowl to take on the Bruins. And then Notre Dame comes to the Coliseum to finish off 2022. In regards to difficulty of games, Notre Dame and Utah are the obvious standouts here. But since the Utes are on the road in Salt Lake City... A difficult place to play, one of the toughest in college football. I'll say that's the most difficult game on the schedule, followed by Notre Dame. Then we've got UCLA and Oregon State. We've got some other games that could be tricky. And, of course, the dated Corvallis that we just mentioned and at Stanford. So, USC finishes the 22 season 9-3, 7-2 in the Pac-12. Who do they lose to? Notre Dame and Utah. Then the third loss... Maybe UCLA, possibly Oregon State on the road. If it's going to be a wild card team, it's going to be that Stanford game against Tanner McKee and the Cardinal in Week 2. USC at 9-3, 7-2 in the Pac-12. Leave your record projections down below right here at the Voice of College Football. And again, Tuesdays at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific, USC Live. We'll see you then.